into Europol competition car. That's Bukantz off, and Lomko did do that, and plenty more now nipping by uh, Bukantz off through Eau Rouge Radion. Yep, that's the number 83, 83 car alongside the, the unlinked Proton car. There was almost side-by-side -side contact. There's three, maybe four cars trying to get that sorted out. Also trying to thread his way through was Fabio Scherer in the United number 23. He's the other side of the second cool racing car, which is 47. Where's Kubica going to pull this manoeuvre off then? He's got a wonderful run through Eau Rouge. Onto the Kemmel straight they go, and uh, certainly defending initially is Philippe Boubergran. Then he puts the car in the middle of the road. Is it going to be around the outside from the Polish driver? That is absolutely terrific from Robert Kubica to take the race lead. He kept the car totally within the confines of the circuit, and back to the front goes AO by TF. Difficult for Ugran this because he's got the Zebra liveried Ferrari ahead of him, which is the, eight, the 51 of Manu Collard. Very rapid indeed, of course, in the GT ranks, but oh, around the outside, De Geras on right Ugran. Move. Too close for comfort, but purely because they're having to work their way through slower LMGT3 cars that are not hanging around, rest assured, but they're never going to be as quick as a P2. Eighth in LMP2. This time, weaving around Capietto, trying to fend off Dragovic. He's going to go on the outside. He's done it. But Jot van Outer didn't make the corner at all. He wasn't overtake. He wasn't attempting an overtake, but found himself on the runoff at Le Com. Lap that's put another couple of seconds on the chasing pair. All of a sudden, Nick of Roni right back there again. So there's a sniff up the outside of the Aston Martin. This is going to be a drag race down the start finish straight. Veroni needed to know the Ferrari's dimensions there because there was about a cigarette paper between the front of the Ferrari and the rear wing of the Aston Martin. Around the outside will go Verone. Valentin Hasclo. It's a drag race, but the Ferrari's going to win it. He's ahead of the Aston Martin into third position. An awesome overtake late in the day. We're inside the final five minutes, and it just shows how much, again, I think down to tyres mainly, how much grip that Ferrari's got on the higher line at the source.